welcome. This is the window where I keep many of my plants. At least the ones that do not require lower temperatures during winter time, like cacti. Here are the succulents and other plants that do not require winter rest and they spend here the entire year. This plant is Mononthes polyphylla and this is the plant that I would like to talk about today. Now I will take it down just to show it from closer to be able to show all the details of the flowers and the leaves. So this is Mononthes polyphylla. It is a plant that is endemic to the Canary Islands. I am not sure whether, whether it's, uh, it can be found on all of the islands or, not, or only one of them. But this is where the plant comes from. It belongs to the family of Crassulaceae and yet it looks so different than all other Crassulaceae that uh, can be found in other places. And this is because the evolution on islands take its own course completely independently from what happens on the mainland. And that's why on, on the islands we find species of plants and animals too that are completely different than anywhere else. It is a plant that is very easy to keep. However, it doesn't follow the same patterns as other succulent. It needs to be kept quite wet, quite moist, maybe not soaked, but it has to be watered regularly. And uh, it requires a lot of sun. However, shaded sun, sun would be much better. As you can see, some of the stems here are turning yellow. The window here is a south window. So it's probably a little bit too much light for this plant. If you look on the other side, and this is the so side that faces the, that faces the room, it's much greener. I had this plant for a long time, but uh, it never grew nicely. It never bloomed for me. And then when I started watering it more, even in winter, uh, that's when it started growing and it started blooming and it showed its own true beauty. So what I would like to show you is also the flower pot. I actually got it from my daughter and she made it for me for my birthday many years ago. So I am very fond of the of the pot as well. I will try to show you the flower from up close so you can see how beautiful this tiny flower is even though it's not colorful. So this is the flower Look how beautiful it is. The flower doesn't need to be colorful in order to be amazingly pretty. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day.